lot of people are saying it's the year for the Rebels in 2016. It seems like everyone's been talking about after what was called a success in 2015. What do you make about that for the men from Melbourne? Yeah, they've had a much better year. It seems as an organisation now, they're, how they're recruiting is a lot, a lot wiser. They're getting players at the same age that have sort of had the same amount of experience or lack of experience, and they've brought them through together. The likes of, you know, Luke Jones and uh, they've also Laurie Weeks. They're, they're stalwarts of the club now. They've been there for since it started about five seasons ago. But Sturzaka, Debrasini, Geordie Reed, Colby Fainga, yeah. Scott Fugastor, These guys are all starting to become experienced Super Rugby players. So it's at, you're at the stage now where you you get judged differently when you're an experienced player. It's no more. I wonder how this guy will go. We know that they're good footy players. Yeah. And as a club, they've got a lot of players at the same age that, that can that can really do some good things. So they've actually probably, for the first time in the club's history, dealing with a, a bit of pressure that they're expected to do well now. And how do you think they'll go with that, especially with the likes of Adam Thompson and James Hansen, guys with some international experience coming into the ranks? How do you think they'll deal with the added pressure of people going, oh, it's the Rebels' year? Well, again, I, I'm not really sure how players, if they, re if they read or buy into that, I, I, I've... You mentioned James Hansen and Adam Thompson. They're two massive signings for them. James Hansen in particular, they've had uh, Pat, Pat Liafa, Liafa and he's really good around the park. He yep. gets hard on the ball, but his line-out throwing has let him down and let the team down. And when you've got a young back line that has the potential to, to score some good first-phase tries, you've got to give him quality ball. And I think James Hansen, his stability in the pack will be, be awesome for them, as will Adam Thompson. So just a bit more experience. You know, he's played... You know, he's a World Cup winning All Black, Adam yeah. Thompson. So, yeah, uh, they've bought well, and they're down in Melbourne, so they always you don't hear a huge amount about them. But they are talking confidently about their season. Yeah, that, this is their best chance to, to make the playoffs. They're a genuine, they're a genuine contenders to to get that, to get top the conference. I think the Brumbies or the Tars are a little bit ahead of them, but they're not going to be thinking like that. They're, they're going to be pretty confident. I know you love to whinge and whinge about draws, so you're going to love this one. No. First five for them, force away. Then over to play the Bulls, then back home to play the Reds, then away to play the Sun Wolves, your your second favourite team, mm -hmm. um, and then the Highlanders at home. I mean, is that how much travelling is that for the Rebels? Ah, uh, that's not too much, mate. Players anything over four hours, players go business class. That's part of the, the collective bargaining yeah. agreement, so they get to sit further up the front of the plane, which is nice. You've never flown economy in your life. What's economy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I have. I recently on a holiday with the family, I had to. Horrendous. Um, <laughs> never again. Uh, force away, that's where they're going to start. I think they can win that. Then they go over to Africa. It's not bad to get to Africa via Perth because you break it up. So they're only in Africa for a week. Then they're home against the Reds. The Reds probably won't even have a team by round three, the way they're Come tracking. On, mate. The Sun Wolves, they're... Um, what is a Sun Wolf? I'm really intrigued to find out what a Sun Wolf actually is. Have you got any There's apparently ideas? Ones, no, I've got a few ideas. I'll keep you posted with that. I'll look forward to it. They'll win that by 50. They're, they'll be okay. They've got a good draw. Wow. And players only look one week at a time. Please. I've heard it all too many times. So a big year for the Rebels, and we're looking forward to watching it all from here at rugby.com.au.